avoiding the base sclera and covering it up with the auto congenital graft is the standard of surgical management of pterygium in this modified technique i have released the head of the pterygium from the corneal surface completely polish the cornea with the edge of a crescent knife and then i have separated the conjunctiva from the subconjunctival proliferative pterygium mass with using the 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 blunt tipped scissors spring scissors as you see here about 8 to 10 mm of subconjunctival tissue can be released from the conjunctiva see that the conjunctiva is extremely healthy on the surface of the pterygium it is proved that it is not involved in the pathological process of pterygium except at the neck and head after the adequate release of the subconjunctival tissue that portion is excised see that the underlying muscle and sclera are not damaged and the surface conjunctiva is spared of any button holding any bleeder can be cauterized with the thermal cautery or a diathermy hemostasis is obtained and the strip of conjunctiva which looks unhealthy and bulky which constituted the head of the pterygium is excised completely and uh, the edge of it is pulled up to the limbus preferably a millimeter away from the limbus and uh, tightly sutured onto the sclera and the adjacent conjunctiva with two bites of tensor monofilament nylon it's cut to the surface of the knot see that the conjunctiva is stretched and nicely uh, placed parallel to the limbus a strip of uh, limbal conjunctiva very narrow strip which is less than a millimeter wide uh, is harvested from the adjacent limbus superior limbus and uh, it's it's uh, so narrow that uh, that area does not need any further management including glue or suturing the length of it should be as much as the uh, gap between the two sutures it should completely sit there earlier for many years i have not used this graft but i have seen some amount of regrowth of pterygium at one of the ends and uh, that made me think of uh, putting a barrier of a pterygium of of an auto conjunctival strip graft at the end, edge of it so that it doesn't grow back it's important to keep the corneal surface very neat and important to spread the uh, surface evenly so that it, an anatomical surface is configured thank you